Hi, hello, welcome, and it's almost the new year. This is Tatiana Thompson, your health coach, transformational coach, master of physical therapy, and founder of Simply Grounded Health. So I'm here to celebrate with you about making it to the end of 2020. Man, what a year, right? Now, the next thing I want to embrace and have everybody try a little bit of, and it's to consider not making your New Year's resolution. Don't make the New Year's resolution. Instead, make a mantra for yourself or a saying or a tagline. So let me explain. Resolution is defined as a firm decision to do or not to do something. The definition of a resolution is a plan for something to be done. It has the energy of pass or fail. I think this is tough on our ego, on our self. Now, a definition of a mantra is a motivating chant, like the, I think I can, I think I can. Something that you repeat over and over to yourself on the last stretch of the marathon you run or not, or when you're finding yourself unmotivated or when you're finding yourself motivated, right? So a mantra is usually any repeated word or phrase but it can also refer more specifically to a word repeated in meditation or in thought and prayer. So some synonyms of mantra are as follows. Repetition, jingle, sacred word, ditty, prayer, or a tagline for the year. So let me give you some examples on how to do this. And I'll walk you through it. I encourage you to come back to this video so that you can pause it, write it down, or frankly, you can send me a message and I'll send you um, a document so that you can um, follow up with this with less transcribing necessary, all right? All right, so here we go. So the first thing we need to do is when visioning for the new year or when visioning for the next quarter or the next segment of time, doesn't matter. But when visioning for that new year, we gotta declutter your headspace first, okay? And we do that in four segments, I like to say. There's a celebration component, there's a learning component, there's a letting go and forgiving component, and then the final component is, is the saying yes to something. So under celebrations, the questions that you might ask yourself is, what actions did I take in the last year? Which fears did I face? What obstacles did I overcome? Who did I impact? What results did I achieve? How did I grow? How did I walk my talk? Which foundations did I set? How did I expand my network? Who contributed to me? And then the learning component. What did I learn from successes? What did I learn from failures? What can I learn from challenges? What can I learn from other people? Maybe what is the universe teaching me? Then the third area to delve into and think about and write about, letting go or forgiving. So what didn't I do that, said, that I said I would? What didn't I accomplish? Where did I hold back? When didn't I speak my truth? What do I need to do to move forward freely and powerfully? What do I need to say to move forward freely and powerfully? 
What do I need to remember to move forward freely and powerfully? Which limiting belief am I ready to let go of? And why is it time to let go? Hmm? And then that fourth component of the decluttering of the brain, getting that extra stuff out, is saying yes. What am I saying yes to now? What am I ready for next? What if, uh, what if it could go any way moving forward? How do I want it to go? How do I want it to go? You have a choice in this. What do I want more of? What am I creating now? What do I desire and deserve? So now once you have all of that dumped out on paper, assessed, maybe reread, maybe added onto, the next big part of the visioning is to carry forward that gold that does serve you and that you do desire. What is this gold that is in service to you and your desire. So here are some questions. What is my vision for my body, my health, my habits, maybe my business, whatever part of your life you want to get a, get a visioning on? State this in the present tense. And you'll work this a little bit. So here's some more questions to help kind of put it all together and, and synthesize it down to a phrase in your mantra. So why do you have this vision? Why is this vision important to you now? Surround yourself with environments, people, and objects that align with your vision. Make a list of what those environments and people and objects are. And then review this vision regularly, at least weekly, if not daily. And as much as possible, operate as if you are already living your future vision. Create an avatar, so to speak. Someone like you. It might be you. It might be someone like you. Create this avatar as this future vision or version using the questions below to give it life, all right? So how do you relate to yourself and others? How does this avatar relate to yourself and others? What habits does this future you, does this avatar cultivate? What thoughts do you nurture? How do you hold your posture? How do you move? So these last few questions, I think particularly are helpful because it allows room to wonder about what you want. Wondering's a wonderful thing. Be curious about what you want. Nothing's too ex extraordinary or not enough to do. You can, you can want anything you want. These questions allows room for you to create your avatar, the you, the future you. I do think it's a little challenging to picture yourself in the future. Let's say you're 10 pounds or 20 pounds overweight or 100 pounds overweight, and you really want to be this svelte, body and there's a voice in there that will say nah you can't do it but I challenge you to try to envision what that looks like and if it's not you looking like that then try an avatar someone like you someone who maybe needs to lose those few pounds 
or lots of pounds. How do they see themselves, right? That might be a little easier to work with. So when you give yourself the room to wonder and be curious, when you give yourself room to create a future version of you and your, or an avatar of someone like you, then, then it's a little easier to live as that future you now. You might trip. I do. Pick yourself up. Walk again. Boop, trip again. Maybe you catch yourself before you fall. But you're going to get up again and walk again. We are human. This is normal. This is so normal. I could tell you stories about my walks and my trips and my falls, but I'm not going to bore you with that right now. Uh, I share a lot of that with my clients when I work with them. But this is about you choosing a mantra for your next segment of time. Not a resolution. So what is your positive phrase for 2021? Or even this first quarter of 2021? Or whatever segment of time you choose? Is there a poem or a picture or a piece of jewelry maybe? or a song that represents this mantra, or maybe a certain scent or a perfume. This tagline for this next segment of time that you choose. I'm really curious, really curious to hear from you and what you come up with. Please share. And if not in the comments, then message me privately. Your life is precious and rich and what will you come up with for 2021 for yourself and for a better new and improved you? I'll share mine when I come up with it. I haven't worked on it myself, but I have an idea. I wish you a fantastic day. I wish you well, and I really look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.